On Friday night against Utah, Oregon State would run an outside zone RPO for a touchdown. And I wanted to break it down because it's so well done by the entire team. Let's just take a look at it. All right, so here we go. Oregon State is on Utah's 27-yard line. They're going to come out and right Trey Pistol. I call it Trey because we have an inline tight end right here. And then we have two receivers on the same side as that tight end. And then one opposite, Bolden. He's their big playmaker. He's the single receiver to the bottom. And notice he's on the hash. on the Where the ball is on the right hash, he's on the left hash. This is going to play a part in this route. Now, at the snap, everybody else is going to run outside zone to the right, except for Bolden. Bolden's going to run a speed out, okay? And at the snap, DJ Uangalele is going to go ahead and fake that he is going to be handing the ball off for the outside zone to the right. He's going to catch it. He's going to turn slightly, right? Like he's going to carry out this fake, but then he's going to snap around and he's going to throw the speed out. Now, obviously, based on the alignment and the look of the Utah defense, DJ has decided, hey, I am just going to throw this. I'm not even going to worry about carrying out the fake. So there probably is some type of keyword that he's giving to the back to let him know that he's not carrying out the fake so that the back doesn't just run right by him. Because at the snap, the back tries to avoid and go wider than he really should to avoid getting in DJ's way. So we're just going to go ahead and run the play right now so you can see what it is exactly that I mean. We're going to go ahead right here. Let's run it. Okay. Ball snapped. Notice the fake by DJ. He's looking to the right slightly. He's looking to the right quickly. But is he really going to hand the ball off? No. Okay. And that's important to note. When he is given this, this call out, he might be something like, go, 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 off, off, off. He's saying something to the back so that the back knows he's not carrying out the fake and that he's just going to throw the speed out. And as the play progresses, he was going to see what happens. So he's going to snap around. He's going to throw the speed out, caught by Bolden. Bolden manages to stay in. Now remember, because of his alignment, he's pretty far away from the sideline. If he had been any wider out, he probably is out of bounds. But notice he's running down the sideline. He's able to stay in bounds, avoid the tackle, gives a uh right there, and then runs back for the touchdown. Okay? Really, really well done by everybody involved on this play. Okay, great route by Bolden, great alignment, pre-snap alignment to help himself out on it. Great fake by DJ, great decision, right? Letting everybody know that he's just going to throw it. And the nifty part about this RPO is it's not like most others. A lot of times RPOs you see are out of shotgun where the back's carrying out almost like an inside, inside zone fake or a counter or something, and then he's going to pull it and throw it. This one is in the pistol. It's almost like he's going to give outside zone, and he's just faking. And then turning his round and throwing the ball. Really just super well done. And here's one thing that I do want to highlight as well on this play. Okay. Ooh. Get a little ugliness. As the play goes, notice that the offensive line for the Beavers are not getting too far downfield. In college, you have a three-yard grace before you're called for being an eligible receiver downfield. Uh, pro level, it's one yard. But at the college level, you have the three yards. So here you see. The offensive line for the Beavers is at most two yards downfield. And because they don't go too far downfield, this play is legitimately good. Caught, and it's a touchdown. They put the Beavers up 14-0. The Beavers would go on to win this game 21-7. to But I just really wanted to highlight how this RPO is different than others that you might see with quarterbacks doing it from the shotgun, how well it's done, how well everybody carried out their responsibilities on it, from pre-snap alignment by the receiver to the quarterback doing what he's supposed to do and the offensive line not going too far downfield. And I hope you enjoyed this quick breakdown because I really did want to talk about this play. I saw it while the game was being played, and I thought, I got to talk about this for YouTube. Coach Jonathan Smith is doing a fantastic job with the Beavers. I'm hoping that they find a home after the Pac-12 implosion. They're playing really good football, and it's a really well-coached team. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know down below. Check out the recommended videos at the end. Have a good one.